Just like their bigger PTZ, Canon CRN300 impressed me much more when I saw the pictures than when I saw the specifications. It's the best value 4K PTZ from any major manufacturer, and the video quality looks simply great out of the box. Not many small sensor 4K PTZs can cope with tricky lighting, but this one can. Its sensor is a quarter the size of the 1 inch on the CRN500, but it copes surprisingly well in low light. For a start, the lens only ramps from 1.8 to 2.8 over the whole 20 times zoom, so it only loses a stop from the back of the room. Most other cameras in this class lose two or three stops because their lenses ramp much more. The face tracking autofocus seems really reliable, and a number of intelligent exposure modes help in the most tricky lighting situations as well as 3GB SDI and UHD HDMI output up to 30 frames a second, the CRN300 has NDI HX2. That means it sends compressed UHD video over a standard IP network to be played back on any Mac or PC running Mutex free software, or also work with TriCasters or vMix. With most other manufacturers, NDI output would add another 250 quid to the cost, but it comes free with a Canon. HX2 is much more compressed than BirdDog's 10-bit full NDI, but it's going to work on older networks which would really struggle with that NDI. The 20 times optical zoom is the full frame equivalent of about 30 to 600 millimeters, so it starts wide and zooms in enough for most situations. A lossless digital zoom takes you to 30 times in UHD. There's even a super silly 300 times digital zoom which turns the world into just Minecraft. The small sensor has a relatively low 8 megapixel resolution, which helps with that low light performance. Anyone familiar with standard camcorder menus will be really at home with Canon software. Put the camera's IP address into a browser on any device on the same network and you have full control. You can click on the video preview on any point you want to become the center of the frame. This can also be done by touch on an iPad using the camera's built-in Wi-Fi, which is a really intuitive way to control it. As well as 100 preset positions, the N300 has 10 tracing memories. This is a bit like choreography for cameras. A series of movements and other camera settings can be recorded by an operator and then replayed at the touch of a button. A trace can last up to five minutes. Experienced PTZ operators would much rather use a joystick for control because of the subtlety you can get with it. And the Canon has the RCIP100 for this. It can control up to 100 cameras over IP and has a large 7-inch touchscreen to access menu settings really quickly. Danish specialist manufacturer Skarhoy makes several controllers which will work with this or pretty much any other PTZ on the market. These are well worth checking out for features and performance. They can even control a Blackmagic 8 and switcher at the same time as PTZ cameras. If you need 4K 50p output, then currently you'll have to look at the Panasonic UE100 or UE150. But you can buy two N300s for the same price as UE100 or four for the same price as a 150. The CRN300 has a big brother, the CRN500, with a large one inch sensor. Please check out our video if you want to know more about this. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments section below and we'll get right back to you. If you want to buy an N300, head over to proav.co.uk. Thanks for watching.